G'day guys, Hector back again, uh, this time with exciting news, uh, Tom BMX's X model exporter is finished. Um, now I'm going to run over some basic usage, um, some installation, but basically I just want to show you that it's working and um, we'll load up some animations and, uh, and get cracking with that. So um, when, when the tool is finally released, you'll receive something that looks like this. We'll have an XE for the uh, animation converter and we have our plugin. We have the scripts folder and an MLL which is a plugin for uh, Maya. Now currently it is for Maya 8.5 only. Uh, I believe Tom's working on compiling a 9 version and, uh, and maybe even a 2011-2012 you know, is, um, so how do we install that? Uh, basically, we're going to want to open up two directories. My documents, and we'll go to Maya 8.5, and uh, in scripts, and we'll pop our two mail files from scripts in there. And we'll also edit, we'll open up user setup.mel and we'll edit that up. Um, these are the, the, the lines that you want to add. Um, these are just the lines for World of War uh, Mod Tools plugin. So source, Tom Tools, close, Tom Start, close. Create menu, close, source, tom input, xm options, close. So make sure you have that in your user setup.mel. Wonderful. The next place we need to open is in our Maya installation, Maya 8.5. Now in bin, plugins. Now in here, we will want to take the tom underscore xmml and you'll want to put it into that plugins folder. Now with all that complete when you start up Maya 8.5 and we go to settings preferences plugin manager we we'll want to go down and click on tom underscore xm loaded auto load okay make sure that's like that and you might have to restart and when you do you should have when you restart you should have this and you should that plugin should be loaded so we should be ready to go now basic usage on the tool go back this is our converter for X animation formats. Um, so here's our raw XM folder in World at War. Um, and here's our Black Ops one. So here's all the animations that we can convert currently. Um, of course the the fast file scanner is not complete yet. Once that is complete, then of course every animation will be uh, available. But until then, we've still got a heck of a lot of animations to play around with here. And um, if you own World at War, then you've got a heck of a lot of animations there too. A lot of zombie ones and whatnot. So how do we use it? The basic usage is, well if we'll open it, we'll, it'll tell you drag a file into the XE to convert it. So that's pretty simple. And that's what I've done with these other ones. So we're in Black Ops Raw. Um, say we want to do a... I'll do another one of the bomb animations. Okay, so we'll just do the bomb idle. So we're dragging that over drop it into the XE 
and there we go. It's done all the note tracks, it's converted all the frames, we're done. So that's put it into the transitional animation file format that's ready to be imported by Maya. Now, how do we put it together? That's a good question. First, we need the weapon, obviously. So, let's have a look for the briefcase. So, there's the view model for the briefcase. Oh, there it is. So, we'll export that out. And now we need some arms as well. First thing you want to do, we'll open up our weapon, which is, yep, view model, briefcase, okay. First we will want to bind the model, so that's easy, we'll drag in the bind script, that's done. We'll save that. Uh, new scene. Now we'll open up our arms. Smart arms. We'll bind script. This one will take a little second because there's got a bit of binding to do. So, um, while we're there, we'll um, I'll export out another model, German Shepherd. So that's binded. Wonderful. So we'll save that. Now. Um, we could probably just open up the weapon. I don't know why. I like to open the weapon first. It's just a bit of OCD for you. <laughs> weapon. just drag in the arms or import them, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now, before we go any further and import the animation, we need to join this, our uh, root of our of our gun to a tag weapon. Now that's easy because Tom's done a little nice little button here for us, nice little command. Join weapon to rig. Oop. What have I done there? Save. Open. Okay. So join weapon to rig. That's done. Now we'll import our animations. Um, Import COD XM. 
Now, by default, these are the only things that are going to be open, I mean, ticked. Uh, when you open a weapon file, it should tick this, but if anything funny happens, just close everything down, reopen it, and before you import your animation, just tick this. Don't use bones. Um, and we'll do oh, defuse. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, import idle. Um, import the pull out. And play nicely. You can't get any better than that. This is just wins. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the dogs. I'm sure you're getting the basic idea, and I um, probably don't need to continue, but I, I will because this is this is fun. I'm loving it. Uh, German Shepherd. Yeah, don't save. Bind him. Ah, he's going to look a little bit funny in Maya if I put textures on because I think, yeah, I've exported everything as TGA and Maya doesn't like uh, doing alpha on TGA for some reason, not sure. Um, that's okay, I'm not an expert there. So we're binded. Save that. Uh, default view. Let's see what he looks like. Yeah. He looks a little bit funny. That's just Maya, how Maya's rendering it. Um, I believe he should look pretty. Yeah, he looks fine in here. Yeah, anyway. No biggie. Um, just make this a bit easier to see. Okay, let's import this animation. Um, now, I've taken this one from um, from World at War, the zombie run animation for the dogs, but I, I don't know whether Black Ops has any dog animations included. Uh, I don't think it does, but that won't matter when the fast file export is up and running. Alright. Run, Spot, run. Well, there you go. It's a running doggy. So yeah, I think you're probably getting the point. Where 
Where's his head? I'll have a look through his head. What? Huh. Must be having a fail moment there. Note tracks look beautiful. Nasty doggy. Yeah, head away. Um, I'm sure this is soon to be released very soon. Um, I, maybe there's a few little bugs and, and just gooey things that are um, that are being fixed up currently, but it's fully operational and. Um, working great. Uh, can't wait to see the uh, fast file exporter working as well and um, ah, we're going to have custom sounds for Black Ops very soon as well. That's going to be very exciting. I believe that's happening just before the fast file exporter. Uh, this is great news. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, hope it wasn't too useless and uh, let's see you next time.